game in itself. Horrible game management, which I've been saying about him. Time in and time out. His players, sometimes they're undisciplined. They're, they're, they don't pay attention to details. And he makes some questionable calls. Okay, I got something for you. Um, I'm going to play devil's advocate, and I'm not right? Whi- Thorny, I'm not whining. I, I uh, predicted, that, that, you know, by the way, I'm not whining. It is what it is. They lost. Right. I, uh, it didn't surprise me. I'm going to play devil advocate, right? Okay. Uh, Tom is the head coach, right? Yes. Okay. He got supposed to have two of the best coordinators out here, <laughs> defense and offense, because they won, what, 12 games this year, 12, 13 games, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you're the head coach and your offensive coordinator calling the game, and your defense coordinator calling the game, right? And you got players on the field playing. What do you want him really to do? Okay, so let me ask you this: What was the Eagles' record? Uh, they was about the same. Uh, what they was? Uh, I think they lost three games. They were thirteen three. So would you say the Eagles have the best offensive coordinator? Would you say their defensive coordinator is the best, or would you? Or are you going? Are you going to say it's it's the head coach? Or is it Carson Wentz? Which one is it? Uh, not you, and I'm not saying it's you, but I'm, okay. I'm, you know, I'm answering your question. Okay, being that we play the Eagles two times a year, uh, their, their head coach do have a lot to do with calling the offensive play. And when Carson Wentz was out there, they was running like a well-ran machine. That's because he chose to help call the plays because he's an offensive coordinator as a head coach. But he let the defensive coordinator do his thing. You know, I okay. didn't notice that about them because we play them twice a year. But their defense wasn't the best out there um, either. So I wasn't, I didn't have an issue with necessarily the play calls. But again, if people don't know the inner working, Big Ben and Haley don't have not gotten along in a long time. They don't like each other. Um, Big Ben and, and subtle, subtle words. Um, and other players have come out and said that, you know, we have, we, when we come to the games, we're unprepared. Right. So Haley is not. Haley got ran out of his previous job when he was at Kansas City. They, do you realize Haley has been in two fights? The dude got into a bar a bar fight New Year's night. So Haley is not very well liked. Now right. Butler, no Butler came from nowhere, so he's not one of, considered one of the best defensive coordinators. Dick LeBeau is damn near eighty, and the Titans had a better defense. But anyway, my point is is that Tomlin, as a as the head coach, if I'm correct. Everyone says that your your assistant coaches are a direct reflection of the head coach. That's why New England Patriots, all the damn head coaches are going to get coaching jobs. I bet you yeah. ain't nobody would give Haley a head coach or Butler a head coach job. Would you My know something? Is that, and when it comes to- also, mm-hmm. also, even though Belichick uh, teams play good on defense and, and offense and these coaches get big jobs, they don't fare out. Which which one of his coaches did a good job at another place? Which one ever went to Super Bowl or AFC or NFC final? None of them. You are one hundred percent right. You are one hundred percent right. But I can guarantee you, ain't nobody from Tomlin's coaching tree gonna get a job anytime soon. But here's the thing: it is Tom. It's his decision to go for it on fourth and one. By the way, it's his decision to do the onside kick. My whole point is is that. It's his decision to call timeouts and time management. You you are a reflection of your head coach. So when your when your when your assistant coaches look great, here's what's so crazy. Everybody loves Tomlin. I don't see none of y'all congratulating the um, offensive coordinators. Y'all all want to give all the credit to Tomlin for ha- having these you know winning seasons. Well, is why is it not the offensive coordinator or the D coordinator or Big Ben? It, that's my thing is like the guy's ill prepared and I really don't think he he coaches off a of gut and emotion and you can't win big games like that you have to be prepared and be strategic and prepare for the little things alright okay so now that the season over with Dallas what do you look for as far as uh, Pittsburgh moving on I'd fire Haley. Well, I wouldn't bring him back. I'd get rid of Butler. I mean, obviously, you, get, you know, you keep Tomlin. I'd get, get rid of Butler, get rid of Haley. I'd get rid of my frat brother, Joey Porter, the linebacker coach. I'd launch him out of there, too. And I'd bring in a different staff and have it be more disciplined. 
We've just squandered the some of the most talent in the last 10 years. Unbelievable. So that's what I would do. I clean house and, you know, keep reverend and go from there. Okay. You, know, uh, you, you got to pay bail. I get, I franchise them and make them make them retire. Yeah. Shit now that's now that's what I want to ask you. Being that you was in Pittsburgh this weekend, what do you think uh, Bell gonna do? Because I've been hearing words that uh, he said he's looking for the biggest contract. You know, what I'm saying the Pittsburgh ain't gonna give him what he want. He don't want to be franchised. So what's up with that? Um, he's gonna do what everybody else does because um, that's why these players won't. Uh, when it comes to time to redo uh, the uh, collective bargaining agreement, these guys don't want to miss a check. It's such a short career. He's going to sit out, and he's going to accept the franchise tag, and then he's going to play. He's not going to sit out and retire and, and walk away from six or – it's going to be probably $16 million or $14 million for a running back. He's going to um, sign it, maybe sit out a couple games, and come in just enough time and then get the money. That's what's going to happen. Well, because here's, the, here's real quick. Here's, here's why I say that. If you're if he's not disciplined enough to stay away from marijuana and get paid, then he sure as hell ain't gonna sit out a whole year and miss six or seven or eight million dollars. Damn, or Dow. never got. <laughs> Damn, Dallas, why you gonna throw your man under the bus like that, man? <laughs> hey, man we all love. We, we like. I like to smoke here and there, but I know when my black ass need to put the shit down or else I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> oh, Dallas, you, you sad, man. So how was your weekend all in all, man? Did you have a good time? Uh, Did you enjoy yourself, man? That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about, enjoying yourself, man. You yeah, know? the Penguins um, The penguins did well. Um, I, you know, I party. I uh-huh. had a really good time, man. It was it was a really, really good time. Other than that, man, I won some money in the in the, in the uh Draft Kings, and it's all good, you know. Life is good. I'm reading the chats, and what what's kind of crazy and disappointing, and plus they all probably just harass me and joking. But I love each and every one of y'all, so y'all can all talk shit and, and shit on me. But Jerry, you know when push comes to shove, if you need some, if anybody needs some, they know who's there for them, right, Don? Yeah, you know, Don, you're good, man. People don't know uh, you besides your um, Pittsburgh rant. They don't know you outside of that, but. Uh, yeah, you you good people, man. You know, you definitely good people. And uh, hey, man, all I got to say is, bro, I man, you know, keep up, keep up the good work doing that music, man. Um, a lot of people didn't know you had it, and you DJ, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, man, my sole purpose is to help people, man. If, if I can help anybody in the chat room, it, with the exception of a few people, I would. I'd give the shirt off my back to everybody. You know, trust me, man. But. When when they criticize me, it's all good. It doesn't it doesn't bother me. It keeps me rolling. It keeps me motivated. Yeah. So tell me, son. Tell me, son. I'm, yeah. I'm just this is this is my last thing to you before I let you go, right? Tell me, yes, son. Sir. How do you feel now that Grego team has moved on and you're not there, man? What you have to say to Grego? He out in the chat room. Uh, I don't got no issues, man. You know, I mean, his his team handles business, so I, I ain't gonna call him up and bash him if they lose. Because they've owned Pittsburgh. I own it. Right. I'm pissed that we can't beat them bastards. But, hey, man, I'm not going to root for them. <laughs> Shit. I'm not yeah. going to watch the Super Bowl, probably. So, yeah, I, 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 is, hey. No, don't be like that, man. Hey, listen. Fly up here. My girl Z Mullins be having some of the biggest Super Bowl parties, man. Fly up here, man, and come watch the Super Bowl, man, with the Chief. And what now? We're going to get a VIP I mean, section, I, man. You I know? should probably just pull for the Eagles then, right? Because... Damn, the Eagles in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, I'd probably just pull for the Eagles or somebody other than the Patriots, though. I ain't going to root for them, but I need somebody else to win. Shit. How, how, about if you're, how about if your partner Vince team is in the Super Bowl? How do you yeah, feel you know, that? I, uh, I wouldn't mind Purple Rain winning it, actually. Yeah, I'm going to root for uh, Minnesota. Minnesota or Eagles, definitely. Oh, okay, okay. That's big of you, Dallas, man. Hey, man, I'm glad you came on to get some of that frustration out, man. And um, I told you, man, you know, whatever you whatever you, whatever you say is, is your opinion, man. So don't worry about people, man. And what you get ready to say? Um, actually, I got to, um, uh, because I've accumulated, you know, some mileage and stuff, I got a free ticket. I'm actually going to do that, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna fly up there and then uh, chill, and, and then everybody can come and talk shit to me personally when I get there, brother. I'm gonna come up there. 
Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. That's definitely what's up, man. You know? And, uh, hey, Dollars, you have a good day, bro. And, um, I, I enjoy you coming on talking, man. You know? That squad X up. Yes, sir, man. You like family, man. And, uh, man, I love you seriously, big time, man. If you need anything, I'm here. You know how to get a hold of me. Everybody else, y'all know how to get a hold of me, too. Don't be mad. Peace. Peace. That was Dollars and Six, X Squad affiliate. Yeah, man. Dollars are good people, man. Yeah, you know, just, I mean, that's, that's, how, that's his opinion, man. That's how he feel. Uh, <laughs> what did, what did, <laughs> three three four bad boy said VIP section with Amsterdam vodka hell no nah. who is Amsterdam vodka did that say that oh well you ain't got to worry about that man if that's on the flyer I'm quite sure you've seen the flyer three three four bad uh but in anyway uh yeah man uh Z Mullins having a Super Bowl party again honey uh, NFL NBA players man is at Harlem Knights uh, downtown Atlanta off of Cortland Street. Uh, yeah, man, it's going to be fun. I mean, I enjoy Super Bowl parties, man. Um, whenever I decide I want to go. But I, I will be in the house for the Super Bowl party. Uh, Tip, you made a statement about the New Year's Eve party. Tip, I couldn't get none of these jokers to go, man. I mean, I wasn't going to be the only one go. And then I, I'm i not, I'm, you know, the thing is, what they do is, Tip, they sell VIP sections so you don't have to be down there without somewhere to sit. Because there's only limited tables outside. They make their money off of VIP tables. You know, so if you get 10 people and you get a $200 section, they're going to throw you a bottle or something. You know, they were throwing champagne, plus they had a champagne fountain. I tried to get these people down here that live down here to pitch in and let's make this thing happen. Nobody wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? If they did want to do it, they said, I'll get back to you. I ain't got all day. That's just like that list I told you that Doug and Ryan used to put out there and said, sign your name if you could partic- if you hang out with us, participate. People used to sign up right away. So what's the problem with signing up for some of these big affairs that be going on, and especially if you're going to get a deal on a situation? So uh, you can't make somebody do something that they don't really want to do. They want to do it, but they don't really want to come out their pocket. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Yeah. Hey, man, you and the wife, let me you know. Uh, I'm going to get this section, man, going. You and the wife, come on through, man. That's right, man. Everybody, come on. Get your girl. And let's go on down here and do the Super Bowl thing, man. We can make this a big event, man. You know, get some food because Hollow Knight got some good food down there. And whatnot. They're going to throw you a bottle in your VIP section and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, whatever you want to drink. They're going to ask you what you want. You want some rock, whatever you drink. And then we can all chip in and buy a bottle, you know. So let's make this uh, New Year's thing. Not New Year's. Goddamn. Tiffany got me on goddamn New Year's. Rewind. <laughs> let's make this Super Bowl party what it can be, you know. I mean, everybody want to stay home. What I found out about home, home is good. If you're the host, you got to clean up afterwards, right? Uh, if you go to a party, after it's over, you got to get out. Down here, after the party... The DJ kicking the music, boy. You can stay that motherfucking dance till the club is over with. You know, Super Bowl all went before 2 o'clock. So if you want to party some more, stay down there and dance off some of that drunkness. You know? So, yeah, man. Um, anybody out there interested that's down here in the Atlanta area or anybody want to come from out of town, you know, hit the Chief Rocker up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, email address is AtlantaJersey at Yahoo.com. AtlantaJersey at Yahoo.com. I'm going to start putting out some of the flyers that's in my uh, Facebook page out to the different groups. If y'all want to uh, come, you know, see what it's all about, see what the group prices is and all that. And then, you know, just hit me up and say what group you think we should get. If we can get that many people to participate, we in there, you know. Uh, Matt Farrell said, Dollar, you need a <laughs> dollar. You cool with me. Oh, yeah, Dollar cool, brother. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and Fax said, Mr. Clarence still in the kitchen. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Oh, man, Mr. Clarence is this guy I work at where we secure at. And, uh, you know, we got to check people, make sure they're not bringing out the merchandise, right? And you wouldn't believe some of the old people that work there that have been there, like, from 17 to 30 years, 
try to come out this thing.